So in the past, in order to get video on your website, you needed to have Flash, uh, the third-party plugin, to get your videos to work in your, on your website. But now with HTML5, you can use video tags to incorporate videos onto your website. So I want to show you some examples of that. So here's a website called Toggle. They actually included a pause and play button over here and also a volume controller which we'll learn to do uh, later in the course in another video. But as you can see here, you can include it as sort of a background design element on your website to include video. Here you have a bunch of different videos back to back spliced together. So this is one example of its usage. Here's another example here. Also in the background, you can see video playing. It adds another layer of, sort of dimension to your website. Here's another one on Skype website just video playing in the background and this looks to be in a loop so which is what we're going to cover today as well so the videos we're going to work with some of the video examples you can find um it's called big buck bunny so these videos you could use they're royalty free so you can use them in your projects or anything like that just to test out and i'll include uh, links to uh, these videos you can download um, in, in the notes below so that way you can use it in your uh, practice examples so but this is the website in case you in case you want to go to it and another thing to, to be aware of is that for videos uh depending on the browser you, you're using, you'll need to convert uh, videos to uh, compatible formats. So we'll cover this in a little bit uh, towards the end of this video, but just so you're aware, there's a great website here called Online Convert, and although the maximum is only 100 megabytes to convert a video, you'll find that more often than not for a website, that's usually enough. So in this video converter uh, container here, you can select a video that you have already. Possibly you might have a, a MP4, for instance, or MOV file, and you want to convert it to, let's say, an OGG, which is for Chrome, Firefox, Opera, or a WebM, which is uh, also for Chrome. Chrome, Firefox, Opera compatible, and also an MPEG, which will work with an IE and Safari. So, um, so you can find different versions in here. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and start with a blank slate. I have a video start folder here. And uh, in, in this folder, I have video as an MP4, video as an OGV, which is the same thing as OGG, and uh, video.webm. So you have all three formats ready to go. So we're just going to work with start just the MP4 version, and I'll show you how to incorporate these as well, so that in case a browser uh, can't run MP4, it'll uh, use one of these here. So we'll, we'll take a look at that in a moment. So let's first go ahead and open this folder up in Sublime Text. Okay. Let's open index. So inside here, we're going to include our HTML5 video. So to start off with, let's just start with just a basic example of what that looks like. So let's do video source, source to the video. So in my case, if you look at my folder structure, this is the index.html. So I have a folder here called video, and it's called video.mp4. So we're going to get to work with that forward slash video dot mp4 and if we just do this just like this and we just need to close the video tag save that refresh the page and here's our video here we can play it there it goes so as you can see there's no controls here there's no way for us to do anything you can click on it nothing will work but you can right click and play and pause things like that so so that's cool but we want to be able to control, so all we need to do in order to add controls is just type in an attribute called controls. As soon as you do that, refresh the page, and here are your controls. Cool. There's your video, ready to go. So that's that's pretty cool. So let's identify this as controls. Okay, let's do another example. Uh, let's do autoplay. So as soon as the page loads, we'll have the video play. So this will be our autoplay. Start off with, oops, let's do that. Video, so again, source, video folder, video.mp4, and wanted to autoplay. Okay, and let's close the video tag. Cool. So now uh, we can actually go ahead and comment this out. Save that. And if we refresh the page, the video should start to autoplay okay let's see what's going on here video source video oops make sure to type that in correctly perfect refresh the page oh there it goes autoplay cool 
And we could also add another attribute in here called loop. So that way, once it gets to the end, it will loop as well. So in this case, we have to wait till this video expires, which is a pretty long video, but essentially including this loop attribute, it'll start from the beginning as soon as it hits the end. And you can you could add as many attributes in here as you like for your project, and it'll be included. So there's the controls. It auto-played automatically. If I hit towards the end here, let's see if it'll auto-play for us. Rather, if it'll loop for us. And there it goes, automatically. So very easily, as long as you include these attributes, it will do exactly as you wish. So let's comment these out as well. I'll go ahead and copy just this as well. And let's do, oops, let's do muted. So that's important. So sometimes you may have been to a website before where uh, you get to the website and there's a video playing somewhere with the audio. You know, that's no good. So all we need to do for that is put muted. Save that, refresh, and see how the speaker is already crossed out by default. That's it, it's muted, so you're not bothering your visitors with the audio. So another attribute that's really kind of handy to have is called preload. So the way the preload works, so let me copy this. Okay, we can comment this out. Preload. Cool. So what preload does, it's another attribute. It has multiple uh, properties you can include inside. So you could include metadata. And what metadata does, so essentially you just type in metadata. <clears throat> metadata, if you do this, the data about the file, such as its length, the file size, is loaded into the memory. So this is just handy to have. So the browser already has this information ready to go. You could also include auto. And what auto does, it downs the video right away when the page loads. So if you want this video to be ready to go as soon as somebody visits your website and they just hit the play button, you just need to include preload auto. Or you could do none, and what none will do, it won't load anything. So it means the file won't be used, therefore no need to download it at all. So this is in case you just want to have a video out there, and until somebody actually hits the play button, it won't actually run. So that's it will actually load on the... Um, on the browser so that, that you know, see here, here it is right here so i put video none preload done so you see the video is not even there so just kind of keep that in mind so if we keep this to auto if i refresh the page there goes the video and you can hit play and play it so these are just things for you to know so preload is another attribute that you can use as well so this is cool but one thing you may have noticed if you refresh this page it's just a black box here so one thing we need to do include something called a cover sort of uh for like your poster for the video uh so that you could see what it is before somebody actually play hits the play button so if i refresh the page you have to actually hit the play button but this you don't know what the video is there's no preview there's no nothing so in my folder here in, in images i have cover.png if i look at this See, it's a screenshot from the video, so that's you know handy to have. So the way to include the cover, so inside the video tag here, you can go ahead and type in uh, poster, and then link to that cover. So it's inside the image folder, and it's called cover.png. Okay, let's save that. Refresh. There's the cover. So that, that shows up. So that's a nice handy thing to have so people can see when they visit your website what that video is in case they need to hit play if it's not autoplayed already. So that's cool. So that's really good that we have all these videos. However, as you can see, all these videos link to the same format, MP4, MP4, MP4. So some browsers, uh, MP4 will not work, so we'll need to account for that. So we need to set this up slightly different so that it'll be compatible with... Um, multiple video sources. So the way we do that, we also work with the video tag, video, controls, so we have controls, and let's include a poster as well, cover.png, cool, and oops, force of habit. Okay, so inside the video, so instead of including a link to a video file inside this initial video tag, we have to include it in here, and the way we do that, we use source source set and in here we type in actually the uh, source of the video so the first one we'll include is the video dot ogv so we have this format remember ogv or ogg it's, it's the same thing it will work in chrome firefox opera cool 
Okay. And we just need to include the type. So we just need to put type. In this case, it's video. OGG. Oh, Great. And we just need to close this. Cool. Okay, I go ahead and copy this portion here. Include. So the other version we need is something called WebM. WebM. And we just need to include WebM in here as well. And WebM will work also in Chrome, Firefox, Opera. And the last one is MP4. And we just need to change this to MP4. Great. So when the page loads, it'll first check to see if the browser is compatible with OGV. If it is, it'll use that video. If not, it'll go down to the next one and then down to the next one until it plays the one of these should be compatible with the browser you're using. So if I save this, we have the controls on so we can hit play, refresh. There it is. Perfect. Thank you.